Hey everybody. Sorry for some little glitches. I am having service issues again. It's kind of becoming a habit that I am not appreciating. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. I want to thank Van Life Rocks for the raid and I want to thank Van Life Vagina, Dreams on Wheels, Burning Up the Roads, and Mobang for your bucks for sharing at the live stream. You guys are awesome. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm going to say some hellos before I bring a badge and he introduces our surprise guest for the evening that I still don't know. All I know is it's a female. That's all I know. And she's American because he said she's like his American daughter. So I don't know if we're going to get along or not because I'm his Canadian daughter. We'll see if we duke it out. I'm sure we'll probably all get along just fine. <laughs> so good to see you here, Amy Kephart, Ava Potterfield. Welcome, welcome, Blind Views. Brenda's here. Lucretia's here. Hello, Butter, butter Beanhead. <laughs> Cody Wells, great to have you here. We've got Diane Phoenix in the house, exploring the West Coast. Fairy Dust, Fit for Expedition. My Megan is here, Going Green Mom. We got Happy Water Girl, Janice from Oz, Julie, Karen Boardman, hello Keely and Nate with Land Cloud Adventures, KT Spirit One, great to have you here as well. Linda Peterson's here and Marshall's here with Mellow Nomadic Adventures. We got Mike B and Tim with Mobang for your bucks. Hey, hey, Nomadic Ramblers, how are you guys? Rideshare Rick. Uh, ride share road warrior Rick. Wow, that's a tongue twister for me, anyways. Sean's here, Stacy's here, Tammy's here. Hello, Brie. Thank you so much for coming in. We got Christina at the Dyson's Crazy Adventure, the Morris family, Tom's Wild and Wonderful Views, Tracy Ocean Fire, Van Life Rocks. Fantastic Life Ventures. I know that I've probably missed a lot of you guys, and I apologize for that. You know how it is if you've been watching a few of these. The, the chats are moving fast. So I'm not going to waste any more time. We only have an hour, and then we're going to go raid Van Life with Gina right after this. And I have the link to that live stream pinned to the top of the chat in blue. So let's bring up Badge. Hello, Badge. How's it going? Hello, sports fans. Well, it's going really good, considering that for the last, what, 100 years, it's been the Edmonton Eskimos, and now it's the Edmonton Elks. I don't know what the comparison is there, but that's it's called the Elks now, not the Eskimos. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. It's super hot, and just for the record, and Blind Views is here, so you'll pick it up. I had to start my generator and run my air conditioning today which is the first time, no, it's the second time in five years that we own the trailer. Just so you know, just for the record. It's over 90 now, Fahrenheit here. It was 90 Over 90 Fahrenheit. Here. It's, it's like cold. Hot. You know, it's it's kind of bad, you know, when you take the dogs and you take them down and you have to dunk them in the creek. Because you know the <laughs> little the little maplers got a fur, fur coat on, right? And I tried mm -hmm. to talk her to take it, take it off and she won't, so I don't know. She just but anyway, so, what we're here for tonight? Oh, let's go ahead. I was gonna tell me, tell me about this this okay. sister that so, I apparently have. So, um, what it this this she's just the sweetest little thing going. And what it is is me and Al sort of adopted her. She came over to Squatterville about three years ago, and ever since then she's just been our little daughter, and she's just as gorgeous. And the good thing about it is, is she is so talented because I'm going to show you something here. I don't know if you know okay. this, but this is what it is. Okay. Oh, there we go. Huck Finn. That's the name. Now, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she has Instagram. And this is what she does. Leather work. And just so oh, I you thought know, she just says, here's my wallet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But this is doesn't, a wallet. And if you notice this wallet. Doesn't she have a chat? I've heard of her. Yeah. And it, her name's, um, well, she does all the outros for me. The outros, the little sweetheart with the coveralls on, that's her. 
she does the, all the outros from California. Yes. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Okay. How you know. So anyway, I said to Aubrey, That's how I she's know just the a name. doll. She's just a doll. She is so sweet. Like I said, Jim and Deb and, and the Ramblers, you cut up and they leak sugar. She's so sweet. She just, you just want to squeeze her, you know, every time you see her. And anyway, I said to Aubrey, you do leather work. You can make me a wallet. So I showed her my wallet. I had a old beat up wallet and she's oh yeah i can do that and she come back with this and i can beat the living daylights out of the thing and this this is going on three years now and it looks just like brand new and if you go on her wow. website i know you find this hard to believe or or on her uh site her website or uh yeah website you'll find the badge wallet that's what i'm Don't talking about i i got my own wallet Hey, so, I, yeah. I made oh, a God. coffee mug after you, <laughs> which I haven't showed everybody yeah. yet. But you already have I, one. Dang it. I made one for you and L, but it's not a wallet. Oh, oh it doesn't matter if it's a wallet. <laughs> She's a, and she named the wallet after me. I said, that's kind of, that, that's really cool. But she is so talented. Like, when it comes to leather, man, she is unbelievable. Like, if you want a leather purse or anything, she made a purse for Al, and it's friggin' gorgeous. Like, uh, I said, are you kidding me? Like, really? Like, it's just, her, her stuff is unbelievable. You get on her website. She got Instagram. And if you get on the Instagram, Huck Finn on Instagram, she shows all the stuff. She's got a store, right? And she sells all this stuff. And it's unbelievable the stuff she comes up with. It's just unbelievable. But the thing we want to get is that she she... Was a nomad. Now she's sort of um, in uh, Oregon now. She's because she got a business going, right? That's how she makes money. So it, and, um, is the business the it, leather work? Yeah, and it just snowballed, and now she can't really get away to to do it. And um, mm -hmm. it's it's she, I can't say enough about this. She is so she's my little American daughter. Is what she is. Well, besides Gina Burkowski. Uh, I get a couple, three, four, or five of them down there. You're but, getting a little yeah. collection of us. No, they're they're like, you know, I don't know. Like me and Al, we treat all these like they're a lot younger than us. Like they're the, you know, thirty some years old. So they're not exactly friends. They're like, they're like our our family kids down there, and they just they're so sweet. Yeah. They always come and visit us, and they always, you know, they're just great. They're just awesome, and when I told her about the outro for the video, she never even blinked an eye. What do you want me to do? I said, put on a pair of coveralls. Okay, so she did. And she did it. <laughs> one take. Boom. So, so if yeah, anybody um, wants to know what he's referring to at the end of all of his videos, she's one of them. I'm one of them. Who else do you yeah. have? Oh, that the other one, the red-haired one is Sam. That's Brad's daughter. Now, me and Sam go back when she was like a little kid, like a little kid. So I, when I was running the funny car, I'd put her in my race car all the time when I was out running Drayton Valley, and we'd we'd have so much fun. You know, I um, the Sam's Sam's a whole story. We were going to Ashcroft, BC, and we're racing there, and Brad's running the show, and the limit is seven fifty. We can't go any faster than seven fifty, eighty two miles an hour. So of course I get Sam, and now Sam's his daughter. So I get in there, and you know me, I don't care what rules are. We just twist them a little bit, right? So I put her in the car, and she runs at 762. Well, you should have seen the shit hit the fan then. So anyway, it, it was all fun. And so Sam's just a great, you just, she gets in the car. Okay, Sam, just drive it like you stole it. Seven, so Huck Finn, what is her name? Aubrey. I don't know her last name. I never, you know, I don't deal with last names. Aubrey. So Huck Finn, how do I address her when she gets here? Aubrey. Hey, Aubrey. Just like Aubrey. 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 Okay, I missed that. Yeah. I missed it. I, I think she calls it Huck, Huck Finn with Leatherworks, I think is what she calls it now. So, But she's got a site, and it's uh, a website, and you can order online, and you can do all that. You can order it all online and everything. And, and it's just phenomenal stuff. Like, you can't buy this stuff anywhere. 
Like you can't mm-hmm. buy it anywhere. This is she does such good work. Like it's just unbelievable the stuff she does. So when like, when is she gonna pop in on the link? What time did you tell her? Any time now. And I'm just wondering, can the chat let me know? I have fans going in here. Are they distracting? Do I need to turn them off? I can't even can hear we, them. Can you guys hear the fans? I can't 66 hear. Sixty-six people. Woo. Woo. I don't know. But no, it's um. But see, the thing is, she doesn't have a. She doesn't do YouTube. And the funny thing about YouTube is, we got we started talking about YouTube because she's friends with a whole bunch of them, like, uh, um. Like Trent and Allie and and uh, uh, what's her names Tia Ventura out of tech, uh, Tennessee. They're all friends. So they all hang around together, and all that. Van, she had a uh, the, she hangs with the Vanners, right? And uh, she never had a, a YouTube site. So I found out about the YouTube's that she. Well, everybody that's got on YouTube has a YouTube um, channel. You just don't know it. So I go on there, and she's got. 1,237 subs, and she doesn't even have a video up. I said, you might want to put a video up. 1,237 subs. Cutie patootie. Honest she to God. cute. Oh, yeah. She's gorgeous. She's a den. She's just a, every time I see her, I just want to squeeze the daylights out of her. She's just so, she's a, she's so good. This is awesome. Jimmy says, all my fans are in the chat. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Oh, my gosh. There are so many great people here. There's Loves You, Floss is here, James Cantonese, um, Mike oh, Lance, is here. Mama's here. Wow. Mm. Turn on the fan off. Want to see a sweat? You guys are going to see a lot of sweating in my next video because I am heading out to the lake this weekend. I have a three-day weekend. And it's in the 90s. You guys all understand the 90s, which is in the 30s here. Yeah. It's hot in this ambulance. Yeah. I came in this afternoon it's, it's and fun. I touched the metal on the roof and it was oh, yeah. burning hot. In your fingers, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. We got Sharon Lewis, Tiny Acres is here. Van City Van Life. Van City Van Life. Hey, Chrome. I'm just reading it like a normal name. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta watch Chrome though. Keep keep tell Chrome to keep his distance. I don't want to. Why? You know I don't. Well, you know Chrome. I don't. You know. You know I liked his think. video today when he had that secluded little spot and he was like considering like, what if you could just buy that little piece oh, of land God. on the water? You see the mountains. It was just, yeah, absolute you know highlight of British. You Columbia. know what he's doing, right? He probably he hasn't said it yet. He said he's gonna say it in the next video or so. But what he's doing is going to all these spots and marking them on a map for me. Yep, you can get your trailer in here. No, you can't get your trailer in here because we want to go over and do the island one winter, right? So mm-hmm. that was cool. So yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Steve at Desert uh, Adventures in Arizona says ninety is a nice spring day for you guys. Yeah, yeah it's not right. like we're not. Like we got a lot of ninety days, but in here I don't have enough air circulation yet. It's it's friggin' warm, I'll tell you. It's and it's it was when did I get up? I got up this morning at six o'clock to do generator and it was fourteen degrees out then. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's warm. Dale Bet says you should send her some stickers to put on the badge wallets. That's not a bad idea. Um we never the problem was she made the wallet before I even had the channel. Like before that, she, I never had the channel when she made it, but yeah, she, uh, yeah, she's, uh, and she does it all by hand too. Really good stuff. Wow. Really good. Stuff. Yeah. It's awesome stuff. Gina says, and seriously, colors. if I don't get to see bad Janelle soon, I'm going to sue Canada for pain and suffering. <laughs> hey, I heard tonight, I heard tonight I went in and seen Brad before I came out here. And Bob from Promax said the border's going to be open. And Ron said the border's going to be open within the next month. That's what they're saying. I, you know, I don't know. 
Is that a guarantee? You know what I do know, though, is we have our reopening plan for our province set. And if everyone's vaccination numbers continues at the rate they are and these deadlines and whatever, we are going to be restriction free by the middle of July. Well, now they they came down and said that if if 70 percent of the people have the shots, they're going to. There's not going to be any restrictions anymore. None. So. Well, you know, maybe then maybe Canada will be opening I'm the floor. I'm talking to my sister Nancy in Ontario. Province. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking Exploring to Nancy in Ontario Coast today or the, yesterday. Telephone. And when they go and when they book their first shot, they tell them when the second one is. We don't even know if we got it yet. They don't tell us when the second one is. <laughs> When I got mine badge, they're like, it's going to be anywhere between one to four months. We're kind of banking on four yeah. months. But now okay. it actually, it's going to be in less than a month. I get it now. Yeah. Well, we got nothing better to do. We'll just sit at home for four months until you find it. And then let it give us a call. We'll come and get it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's all good. So, Wonder if we lost what time her. did you tell her to come? 7.10. I wonder if she's having any problems. Can you see on your phone if she's messaging you at all? Or if she happens to be watching, yeah. Aubrey, and in the chat, put a comment in so I can drop the link for you, and yeah, then we'll just go the through link. Safari. But I'll wait yeah. till I see if she's in the chat before I drop the link. Yeah. So I'm going to watch the chat like a crazy person. Everyone help me keep your yeah. eyes on there. Let's watch for Huck Finn. I can't see that. That's the only problem with StreamYard on this side. I can't see the chat. That's the only problem. Oh, because you're on your phone. You have to hit a different button that says comments. Okay. And then you'll get to read the comments. Yeah. So. No, I don't, yeah. I don't get nothing. I'm just staying in the dark. I'm just, just can't entertain. I'll that. drop out for a minute and see. I'll see if you can get a hold of me. I'll say hello, hello to everyone that's waiting. Yeah. Well, 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 we're excited. I hope there wasn't a problem with the link that I sent. Well, no, badge got on it, so it works. But when someone's never done this before, especially if they're doing it on a phone, it can be a challenge. Or if, for example, she's in the broadcast studio and doesn't know to enter the broadcast studio, I will see her and then bring her up. She may not be familiar. And that's... As exciting as it is to have surprise guests, that's where it can be a little bit of a bump in the road sometimes. I don't get to go over some of the things in advance with them just to make sure that they understand understand how it all works. Diddy, tell her about the time difference. That floss is a really good point because even Badge and I are different times. We have 79 people in here. Oh, my gosh. Nomadic Ramblers went to the beach. Oh, you guys, I got my brand new kayak. I am so excited. I have it in the ambulance. Um, One of the things I realized today is I could lighten the load in here. It's summer. I don't need two propane tanks because after I ran out of battery, I decided I'd keep two tanks. So I took one out, took my two old batteries out, just lightening things up a little bit. I realized I'm really not going to need the buddy heater this weekend, (laughs) but I'm going to pack it into an exterior cabinet so that I do have it available. I'm going to just see, I see Badge down there. Badge, can I bring you back up? All right. I don't see anything, so she won't be trying it. Yeah. It could be a time change thing. It could be all sorts of different things. Yeah. I told her to come up, so she, but uh, I thought she's on the same, she's in uh, Oregon, so I think they're the same time as us, I think. No, well, what time is it for you? It's 721 for me. That's exactly what it is here. We're on the same time. Well, no, she's an hour See, different. She'll be here going. an hour. Dodge. It's an hour earlier for her, probably. So she might not be yeah. here till I'm done. No, let me let me go. I'll go out and I'll phone her. All right. 
<laughs> I'm so glad it's not me this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, Gina knows what I'm talking about. It would be a little bit different. And that's the things with us. Like, for me, my time never changes, but everybody else's does. So to the West, it'll be two hours difference. And then the time changes and it's one hour difference. And oh my God, she's here. She's here. I see her. Hi, Aubrey. I'm going to bring you up and I'm going to bring Badge back. Hello. Hello. How are you? Look at that face. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I was all worried. His American daughter. Do I need to be jealous? <laughs> Well, are you Canadian? <laughs> yes. It's okay. the daughter part. It's the daughter yeah, I, part. <laughs> oh, Aubrey. It's all right. None of us look like them. Oh, what they do? What they do? What they do? We can still see do? and hear you, Badge. We can. It's embarrassing. Oh. I guess we're sisters, oh, according no. to Exploring the West Coast. There you go. Oh, perfect. That's a better call. So I really don't know anything about you, Aubrey. I've seen you so many times at the end of Badge's videos. <laughs> yes. So um, how, did, how did you guys meet? We met in the middle of the desert. Um, we, gosh, I think it was after RTR a couple of years ago. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Badge. Good to see you. Probably blowing you kisses. Hello, Hi. 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 Well, you, you just really honestly, you just want to reach right out and grab her and just hug the daylights out of her. She's <laughs> so sweet. And look at that, my. It, how, how, it can't get actually, any better. I got my two daughters right there. My daughters yeah. right there. Look Do at that. Do you need my fan, sweetheart? So, oh my god! So hot here. I'm dying. I think it's like 95. I'm being such a baby. 95 is mm -hmm. not that hot, but we don't have AC, so yeah. it's a little hot. Um, yeah, so we met in the middle of the desert, speaking of hot, I think it was after RTR one year, a few years yeah. back, um, Water real. over, actually it was right after Schooly Palooza maybe, and okay. it was my first year on the road and yeah. they didn't really know anybody. Yeah, that's right, after Schooly Palooza. Mm -hmm. Over in Ehrenberg, and, uh, didn't really know anyone, I met a handful of people over at RTR and they said, oh, well, we're going to go to Schooly Palooza because they had school buses. And some, oh, you know what? Everybody kept talking about this guy named Badge, Badge this, Badge this, oh, Badge can fix this. Oh, you should go talk to Badge because I have a 1985 Toyota Dolphin or had a, a Dolphin and it was breaking all the time. <laughs> so, What's a Dolphin? Sorry. What's a Dolphin? It is. A uh, Frankenstein truck thing, camper rig. It looks like something your grandpa would drive. Um, how else do I describe this? It also looks some, like something you could cook meth in. But the inside I renovated, so it looks cute on the inside. But yeah. <laughs> the outside is super yeah. creepy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, Badge, would you agree with that? <laughs> that was, the, yeah, I that's it. So it. That that way. Side of it. it looks cool. It looks super cool inside. Um, yeah, you'll have to Google it at some point. You've definitely seen it, and it's either been driven by a meth head and or your grandpa. Yeah. So you've seen them around, I'm yeah. sure. Um, yeah. But I had a dolphin, and it was breaking a lot. And everyone was like, oh, yeah, yeah, go talk to Badge about it. He'll know something. He'll be able to fix something up. Can't remember what was wrong at the moment, but I'm sure he helped me. Yeah. And then after that, we were fast friends. A hot water tank or something. Oh, good memory. Yeah, it was my hot water tank. I think it was hot water tank. Or something she had for yeah, yeah, I was taking a lot of cold showers for a while in that room. Funny. So, yeah, so, that's how we met. Yeah. So, how long were you? How long were you on the road, Aubrey? I was on the road for about three years. I made that for Badge. That's why he's showing us. He's not trying to tell us how much money he has. He's showing us. Well, his I don't money. Us well, I do have money. Up. Matter of fact. I got 10 bucks. That's amazing. I still got it, Al. I still got the 10 bucks. <laughs> Pass it over, bud. Hand it over. Yeah. 
<laughs> I actually have a just Canadian ten dollar bill that I'm just waiting to use when the borders open. So you have a ten dollar um, bill that. It's got to be worth about seven bucks, yours. <laughs> I know. I know. So I figured I'd save it and I would buy some maple flavored marshmallows when I get up there. Oh, yeah. I was going to bring a bag to tease everybody, but no. <laughs> Look what I got. Hey, hey, Aubrey, those are really good over the fire, though, aren't they? Oh, you got to admit. They're so good. If you huh? haven't, have, have you had them, Paula? I have some, but uh, I haven't roasted them. I've eaten them oh, normal. So, I, like it. <laughs> I have like a s'mores challenge out there, and I will use them. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, we met back in Ehrenberg, and I was on the road for three years. Uh, just okay. recently, within the last year, I mean, COVID hit. So part of COVID... Basically, right when it popped off, I bolted down to Mexico because I was like, I don't want to be in the States for this. This seems crazy. I'd rather be on the beach. So I took a surf trip down to Mexico into Baja and spent probably five or six months down there, um, quarantined, and then headed back up to the States. And then after that, I was like, oh, gosh, literally everything's closed. I can't camp anywhere. I really yeah. don't know how people were doing the whole van lifey thing through that period because it was exhausting like finding showers everywhere was hard all the gyms were closed like it was rough so i ended up uh scoring a rental place here up in central oregon so i'm here for now wow Three so weren't the beaches closed when you're in mexico or no what was that mm -hmm. actually like during the pandemic it was really awesome for us. So yes, the beaches were closed unless you found a little secret <laughs> beach that we were on. Um, oh. Yeah. So we found this little place. It was, yeah. It was probably like 45 minutes down this super awful washboard road. And if you've ever been in a vintage <laughs> camper on a washboard road for 45 minutes, you get out of there and you're still like vibrating for the next three days. It's so bad. But anyway, so we made it all the way down this road and um, yeah, and then we ended up just kind of posting out on this one beach. There was a bunch of private property nearby and the, the people that lived there liked us a lot. So they're like, oh yeah, we'll just pretend that you live here. Or tell them that you live at our house or whatever. So we just stayed camped on the beach in this little remote little area and there wasn't, there was no surfing there. So I had originally gone down there for like a surf trip. But uh, because the beaches were closed on the Pacific side and I was stuck on the Sea of Cortez side, we just did a lot of like spear fishing and free diving and that sort of thing instead. So no surf, but I learned to free dive, which was really fun. And then it was really, honestly- oh my God, that sounds like the ideal way to spend yeah. the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah, it was really awesome. It was really uh, kind of more of a culture shock coming back to the States afterwards. So I was like, oh my gosh, everything's so expensive here. How are people surviving right now? This is wild. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it was really, it was actually very nice. Um, and trying to think, yeah, they're just, I didn't have a lot of cell phone service. So that was kind of just helpful for my own mental <laughs> clarity while the whole pandemic was first kicking off because everybody was going absolutely crazy and this and that and all that kind of stuff so so yeah so it was nice okay. it was pleasant oops sorry I'm to put in my head that you're in mexico mm -hmm. beside the the bay of cortez and you're mm -hmm. quarantined okay i got it yep I got it that'd be a bad place to be I'm, I'm, trying to, the, the, awful I'm, place trying, to, I'm trying to get the bad part of this. I'm trying to get the bad part. I'm by the no, ocean. It wasn't really any. In a bathing suit. Okay. I With got tacos. It. Okay. That was the best part. Oh, and fresh tacos. tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So oh, shut up. The, the first part of that was not too shabby at all. And then coming back has been interesting, but it was fun. I had, so I, I do leather working and I had started a little leather company while I was in my dolphin. I set up a whole workbench in there, which is probably like what, five feet wide. So it's really not that much space to have a workshop, but um, I set up a little workshop in there. So while I was down in Baja, I put together a whole collection based on like 
a lot of the colors I was seeing there, lots of blues and greens and oceany and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Oh, so nice. It was, it so is that solely how you support yourself? Because I mean, three years on the road, but I wonder how, how did you do that? My service just became a problem. Oh, yeah. I think there? I, yeah, mine was glitching a little, so I turned my Wi-Fi off on my phone. So I might be okay now. But I, I think it was me because it all went down. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. I, oh, sorry. So I was, like, wondering how, how did you support yourself just from the leather I work? Just broke too. <laughs> yeah, it was all leather. Um, I had I had saved up a chunk of change before I hit the road and then went through that for, gosh, probably the first six or so months. So I went through that pretty quickly. <laughs> and then I had just been doing leather kind of as a hobby. Then people like Badge would come along and say, oh, you should make me a wallet and I'll pay you. And I was like, OK, let's hope this works. <laughs> and, then, and then after enough people did that, I just put together a little website. And I would do, or I still do this, is actually a really nice way to set everything up is I would create pieces all month long and then say, okay, at the end of the month, at, on the 31st at 5 p.m., I'm going to release all these products online. And if you want it, go buy it. That's all I have. <laughs> and then it was nice because I was living off grid so often that those sales would come through and then all I would have to do is just package them up and take them to a post office somewhere. So I could usually sell out the three or four products that I had. And then once that those were all sold, I would go to the post office and then I would come back and start a new collection of two or three pieces or whatever. So yeah, so it, it, I mean, living on the road is so uh, budget friendly. I feel like that you really didn't need that much money to sustain yourself. So it wasn't, it wasn't yeah, too that's bad. Awesome. We have a question. Kaylee wants to know, you have four videos posted two years ago, Aubrey. Where are your videos on your YouTube channel? I'm the How worst. How many subscribers <laughs> do you have? How many I subs do you have on there? Know. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. I have no idea. I think... Huh? 2,400 subs, I think. 24 oh. or almost 3,000 now, I think, isn't it? Oh, good Lord, girl. Get going on oh, your no. videos. Oh, you no. have more income. Well, you're right. Um, I, I think know. I focus so and hard on the even... letter. <laughs> Do you want to know how many people have told me that? You're going to die at that. Chris is going to yell at me for this. Wes is going to yell at me for this. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Yeah, so yeah. I was just talking about that to my partner because... I would love to start my YouTube again. I think I just got embarrassed. And then once I came off the road, I was like, I don't know if people really want to see anything I'm doing still, but we still travel all the time. Like I just got done with a 10 day kayaking expedition. My boyfriend is like super wonderful and outdoorsy and he's a mountaineer. And he just, so he met me, he went to Antarctica for six months and then met me down in Mexico. And so he's like all over the world. Kind over of 35 Huh? Over 3,500 subscribers and what, two or three videos up there? See, she doesn't think that her quality of videos are any good. And I say they are superb. They are really Thank good videos. God. And I said, so, just set, just set I the camera up. I have and I don't even have stuff. two. I don't know. I can yeah. also... Um, I can credit a lot of that to like Maria, Jose and Chase. Cause I showed up on their videos a lot yeah. when they were first hitting the road and they, yeah. I think they got me a lot of those followers too. And, and the tiny home tours that I did with yeah. Chris that helped out a lot, but yeah, yeah. I've been terrible, but mm -hmm. I've been wanting to bring it back up. I just kind of need to revamp it because now my life is a little bit more leather focused and I'm expanding that business even more and bringing other artists on who travel and go on adventures and things like that. And like, I'm going to South Africa in a couple of weeks. And I was like, well, that'd be a cool thing to video, but. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Especially in this, like at any time, it'd be amazing. But at this point in time in the world, mm -hmm. I would want to know everything about how that kind of travel would work, Aubrey. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, I think I have to get a lot of like COVID Mommy. shots and, 
and things shoved up my nose and all that kind of stuff to get ready for it. So <laughs> keep you in the loop. <laughs> It's not as easy as going to Mexico right now, let me tell you. Um, oh yeah, gosh. so, yeah, I think I will probably start my YouTube back up, and hopefully some of those subscribers aren't mad that I'm not in the dolphin as long. Well, everybody <laughs> in the chat right now is like, get some videos going. Thanks, guys. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like I told her, I said, just set your camera up when you're doing a wallet or a purse or something. I guarantee you, yeah. and they wouldn't even have to cut it. Just put it up there on on a B-roll and just put it up. And then people will watch it. I guarantee it. Yeah. That's, and that's see her funny. smiling face. Like, come on. Really? Well, and my boyfriend's a babe, too. So even if they just log on to see him, <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah. You guys will get all the viewers between the two of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, the Morris family. That's sweet of you. Yeah. So my, my uh, website is Huckfin Outpost. So it started as Huckfin Leatherworks, and I still do the leatherworking, but I just expanded it because when I was on the road, I feel like I just got so much help and so much encouragement and so much love from people that uh, just helped me start this business and like motivated me and gave me the courage to do it. And so now I'm trying to kind of give that back to other like artists and writers and um, photographers and things like that by creating a little community on my website where people can come and talk to each other and say like, oh my gosh, how did you figure out shipping when you were on the road? And how do you get stuff sent to you? And just things like that to kind of yeah, make everybody's path make more videos easier. On. That's true. Those videos right. would be interesting for a lot of people. I just want to take a moment to thank the Mass Nomad for the super chat. And for those that don't know, the Mass Nomad is the paper bag um, nomad. He changed his channel name if you guys want to take oh. a look at that. But thanks again so much for that. Nicole says, Aubrey, I didn't know that you had a channel. You little guy. <laughs> I know. And like, like she said, where she come to to because I never had a channel at the time. And she come and I said, Wes, she's got twelve hundred subs. I know. And she won't put a video up. And then she did one <laughs> video and she asked if if she people would give her a hand and what she wanted. I said, just show just show them making leather. That's it. Yeah. And they'll love it. I guarantee. You know. But I'll get back the thing on was it. that she was hanging around with Chase and Mariposa. And yeah. their videos are so superb. They're like so great. That's and that's what she's probably intimidated you put by that. Good but videos I'm, on YouTube. All edited. There's nice music. I'm like, I don't have time for that. So <laughs> part of it. I'll get on it. I'll get on it. But just put just just, oh, yeah, the, the just put it up there, Aubrey. They'll watch it. I guarantee you. I know and these moderators get, are great. Pizza just all the what did you say? Something about pizza? Hey, you get pizza money. Pizza yeah, money. you get pizza money out of it. I'm not for that. Put a video pizza money. money. Well, I tell you, if if there's a babe in these videos, I'm definitely curious. You can't tell us <laughs> all of that and then not put out a couple of videos. It's not fair. Um, I'll put them on there. Don't you worry. I do have an Instagram, and he shows up in there every once in a while, too, so... Badge did yeah. mention before you came on that you had uh, an Instagram. Do you post on there regularly? All the time. Because yeah, it's so okay. much easier for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> More in my stories and things yeah. like that. Now it's kind of yeah. shifting. Where am I from? I'm from Prescott, Arizona. And just so you know, if you ever go to Prescott, Arizona and you call it Prescott, Arizona, people will give you so much crap. So here's your warning. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because we're all hicks there. So we say Prescott instead of Prescott. But there you go. From Arizona. But I live in Oregon. I've lived in Oregon for like 10 years now. And then on the road. Yeah. So yeah, do you have Prescott. siblings or anything like that? So many. Yeah. Uh, Man, yeah. I have a big family. I think there's like eight or nine of us siblings floating around. Um, everybody still lives in Arizona. So are you the, only, of, one? Are you the, the only, only one doing the whole nomadic lifestyle? What do they think of you doing this? Yeah, I am. And they're not at all surprised. I think I've always kind of been this way. Like the kid who's like, oh, butterflies. And then I 
take off on a path and they're like, where did Aubrey go three hours later? So it didn't really surprise anybody. Um, but yeah, I'm the only one who's actually even left Arizona. So I'm, I try so hard to get them to get passports and they've come and visit me. And, and then I've stayed at their places a lot. It's really nice going back to Arizona because then I have all my family there all at one place. But I am the only one who's broken out. Wow. A little bit of oh, so we have a question. What stage is she from? Which you answered, but <laughs> tell us a little about your life, please. So you get to pick and choose which part. I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so grew up in Arizona. I moved to Oregon. So that kind of happened because I kept meeting people when I was in Arizona, kept meeting people from Oregon. I was like, Prescott is gorgeous, Prescott is gorgeous. Um, I kept meeting people from Oregon. I was like, man, you guys are so much nicer than people in Arizona. So I Googled, <laughs> no, don't tell. Um, I Googled sunniest places in Oregon because I knew I couldn't do like gloomy, rainy Portland weather. And then Bend, Oregon popped up and I packed up my Jeep and moved up here. And um, then I loved it. It turned out to be a really cool town actually. And it's grown a lot, super outdoorsy, super adventurous. Um, yeah, and then I had some crazy life changes happen while I was living up in, while I was living here in Bend, and then that's kind of what spurred me to hit the road. I was healing from heartbreak, all that stuff, so hit the road and ended up on the road for three years. I loved it. I just found such a sweet community on the road, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Sometimes my life. some things are meant to be in there. What we need to propel us mm -hmm. forward, right? And thank you, Tom's Wild and Wonderful Views, so much for that super chat. So why the name Huck Finn? <laughs> no. Um, so I was in a Toyota Dolphin. And I kind of just, I was calling the Dolphin Finn for a second. And then it kind of turned into Huck Finn because I love the book. And it's all about adventuring. And it was my big adventure and things like that. So turned into huck fin and that's why it's p-h-i-n-n -N instead of f-i-n-n -N, because of a dolphin um which has been such a really painful thing to explain to everybody anytime they ever ask me why my business is called huck fin i'm like it's dolphin fin blah blah, blah. so i go on this whole long tangent but that's what it is <laughs> uh, oh you brought it down now you explain yeah. that Look yeah. at these things. <laughs> thanks um, yeah, so I would say- We actually only have 15 more minutes. So if there's questions, now's the time. Sorry, Aubrey. Um, oh, no. You were gonna say something, <laughs> we have a bit of a leg. <laughs> oh, I know, that's all right. Uh, I was just gonna say, yeah, so that's basically my life story. I hit the road and, and then, oh, thanks. That's very sweet. Uh, yeah, so I hit the road and I started making leather stuff. And I think when I say that I started creating leather pieces, people typically will probably think like, oh, she makes weird leather bracelets or like satchels for her crystals or things like that. Lots of fringe, but, um, <laughs> and um, no, but I make uh, like high end bags and totes and wallets and passport covers and things like that. But everything has kind of like a an adventure inspired look to it, depending on where I was visiting recently. And then I was really good. Oh, I see that question. My that threw me off for a minute. That's oh, L, Mike. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I was like, how is he doing? Oh, that? Mike. Um, he's so good. He's old. I might be able to get him to come in here really quick. Let's see. He's such I a cool dog. <laughs> I love Ike. Ike is so cool. Come here, puppy dog. He's old. He there has he so is. many. Good he is such a good dog. Oh, this is Ike him. Is so oh. cool. He lived in the camper with me for the many, many years, and he's such a good road dog. Okay, you don't want to be in here. So. Great. All right. Oh, all right. For all right. Him. It's really hot in here, so he does not want it. But yeah, so that's I. He is my adventure pal. He's so good. He's doing well, but he has uh, super gray hair now, which is always so hard to watch. Is this how people feel about kids? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's great. He's so cool. well behaved still. Little adventure buddy. He got uh, addicted to Mexico too. 
he loved the love to love the ocean and swimming. We tried to teach him how to like surf on little wind breaks there. It was really funny. Oh, yeah, he's great. That's so cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have I a question. Sell the dolphin. You, you never sold did you it, sell right? Your rig? Do you plan I on have, your rig? So I haven't sold it. I'm actually <laughs> Remodeling it right now because I think I am going to be selling it soon. Um, it's kind of just at this point where it was, I, I'll probably get a different rig or something along those lines. But I think for me, it was such a special place and it had so many memories connected to that yeah. healing part of my process that it's just, it's yeah. not the right space for me anymore. I feel like I've just kind of outgrown it like physically and mentally. And now there's two of us with my partner and I and it's just a lot of people in that tiny little dolphin and so yeah so I'm hoping to yeah. sell it my fingers are crossed to maybe another maker or something like that because I do have I still will have a workbench in there so there's like okay. a drawer or something yeah. yeah so I think I'll be selling it soon yeah. I'm doing all these like little remodel repairs though and I'm so jealous already I'm like do I really want to sell this because it's looking cuter than when I had it <laughs> that sort of thing I know. Oh, right. like it's so gorgeous <laughs> like man oh man yeah so the outside looks like, like a mess kind of funny house. because you it's look at really it good. it looks like a dolphin it's just a plain yeah. ordinary old motor home and then mm -hmm. you go in there and holy smokes like really yeah and that's where we found about that dog bowl that's built yeah. into the wall. You fold it mm -hmm. down so you can't knock it over. She got she it's, built that years ago. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I need one of those. It's really nice. Yeah, well, I can hold cool. a pair sometimes. He'll throw fits and he'll just yeah. go to his dog bowl and knock it over. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I I built this little like frame in the wall that pops down and then you put his dog bowls into it so he can't mess with it that's what he's talking about but yeah i did all the renovation myself my pop helped out a little bit and then it was fun the whole renovation yeah. process was so much fun doing it again now i'm like oh man i want another one but uh it's nice it's i feel like it's more spacious than like a sprinter or things like that just because you have the overhead cab um, yeah. And then when you sit down in it, you feel like you are like you just taken to the room. past. You feel like you can only listen to like America or like I don't know, old old classic music, Creedence Clearwater Revival, because it just takes you back decades <laughs> and decades and things like that. So, <laughs> it's a blast it is. It's really fun. Yeah. But will you continue to do this full time? Uh, what leather? Travel or travel, yeah. Oh man, I'm I get so antsy being in one place. I've been in Bend for almost a year now, or back in Bend traveling around for almost a year, and I've probably taken like I don't know seven trips, even with the pandemic going on. I'm don't worry, I'm being safe, but um, but even with all that, I'm still traveling a ton because I just get so antsy, I can't do it. Um, so I'm sure at some point I'll probably get another rig, but with the leather business doing so well, I'm trying to put so much of my energy into that, which I'm totally enjoying and I have no worries about that. So I just have to take more international, like flight-based trips now instead of uh, van life. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. So the Nomadic Ramblers would like to know, do you make special orders? I did for badge once, but that was about it. <laughs> I would love to, but just because I've set my business up specifically for traveling because I'm so addicted to it. Um, I've set it up so that I don't take any like customs or special orders. I just make the products that I make and then I wait until they sell out. And then as soon as they sell, I get to leave. Like <laughs> I get to take two weeks to go somewhere else or whatever without having constant orders come in or customs or things like that. I think it was just too stressful for the way I was living and especially with being like off grid so often. I especially in the dolphin i couldn't just order in a ton of extra leather to the middle of the desert and so um i would just make specific pieces and i've i've actually really come to love that sort of business model so i don't do any customs i just do the ones that are like super inspiring to me and i base it off of whatever is around me whether it's baja or hopefully i'm doing like a south african collection or something like that so 
just just pieces that are kind of speaking to me and getting me excited at that point. Oh, that's awesome. I'm always up for I should give you I should give you a chance. Do you have any questions for Batch? Yeah, Batch, how are you? I miss you. <laughs> How's everything up north? Is it still cold up there? I'm doing just fine. And the borders are going to open, so you know we're going to see it in the wintertime. You know that. Yes. So, yeah. I know. You know, That's I exactly live in right. south. You know, sit on, the, sit on the desert and have some marshmallows, make some s'mores. Yeah. Yep, I'll be there. You know, it's, well, it's, 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 it's also good. nice because my family lives there, so I can just use that as an excuse. Go see my family and then bolt over to you guys too so exactly. yeah exactly mm -hmm. what YouTube going, that's, Badge? Badge. that's my other question for you I, how's everybody how's the youtube going it's going we're doing uh i sort of i got in a rut because uh uh you know that most of the people that watch you they probably lose 100 subscribers tonight but that's all right um <laughs> Is they're still not monetized, and what I was finding was people would say, "Well, why don't you do a video on this or do a video on that?" Well, I did. Mm -hmm. Well, what about doing it on this subject? Well, I got three on that already. So they were asking me to do stuff that was that yeah, I've already yeah. done, right? So mm -hmm. I just said, "Yeah, we're just gonna yeah. sit and wait, and we'll do the lies with Paul and and Booster channel up a I bit." I love it's this idea because we're not so monetized. Fun. So for so for us to go and do a live on our channel is a waste of time. Well, we do it on Paula's, and she can make some serious pizza money. You know? Yeah, girl. Oh, no, <laughs> serious well, pizza money. My only other life. question for both of you guys is: in this last year, like, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned, or like your favorite thing that you've you've come up with this last year? Your biggest epiphany is like, I don't know if it has anything to do with travel or like live more freely or I know I feel like because we've all been kind of stuck <laughs> I don't know if there's what's been yours? any like realizations what's yours? um I say, oh, go ahead go ahead no go back I prefer yours I would say that the biggest thing that we figured me and Al because you know we mm -hmm. have the two hour coffee and the morning to talk about everything and yes. I think the biggest thing is turn the news off and just live your life. That's what we, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. you get all these, well, he said, she said, and they're doing this and they're not doing that. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just be we're out there, you know, the thing is, they, yeah, they won't open the borders for us to go down there to sit on the desert where there's nobody around. I can't figure that one out, but okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I know. Hopefully. Soon. Soon, hopefully. How about you, Paula? Anything you learned you're excited about? Uh, this yeah, year really has been pushing probably... um, past fear. That's yeah. Really this year. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, I love that. In so many ways. In so uh -huh. many really, really good ways. And this channel is just one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think the hardest thing, and you, you can vouch for this one, Aubrey. The hardest mm -hmm. thing this year was staying in Canada. And not going to the desert and seeing mm -hmm. all our friends. So, yeah, it's been kind of hard to find community, I feel like. So really I can tough. attest to that. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. And you probably don't know. I, I had planned to take January, <laughs> February, March and go south. And then the oh. pandemic hit. But I also realized, too, just because something gets in the way once doesn't mean it can't ever happen. It's just the timing yeah. wasn't meant to be spent, and it can still uh, be, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm excited for you for next winter. Mm -hmm. It's so nice in the oh. desert. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, so no, Mexico. I I did wonder True. about flying out to Mexico or Costa Rica, but mm -hmm. I was so worried about the health coverage that I just canceled my leave of absence. So mm -hmm. that's one thing I would love to learn from you is how did all mm -hmm. of that work? Yeah. Um, well, I just got some traveler's insurance before I left the States. You can just get it online. I can't recall what company I went through. If I think about it, I'll shoot you guys a message and you can post it somewhere, I'm sure.
but I always buy travel insurance. It's super, super important to me given past circumstances. Always just want to have myself covered. Um, and so I just, I got, yeah, like ba it's basically adventure insurance. And so if you're surfing or if you're doing something crazy or whatever and you get hurt, you have a flight back to the States, you have this, this, and this, and everything's covered and they make sure you're at the best facilities and, and that sort of thing. So that's how I did that. But I'm also not the best planner either. I kind of just go for it and cross my fingers and hope it works. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm I'm guessing you're in your twenties. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm twenty eight now. Whoa, good moves. I yep. wish I could have been. I wish I was brave enough to do the things that you're doing now. And and you I are. You're doing it. You just said it. You're first year. You. <laughs> you're you're there now, right? It doesn't matter how old you are. I guess. It's time. I guess you're you got right. it. Mm -hmm. I am so thankful that you're here. I'm totally going to have to have you come on again. There's just yeah, so this is a flash. It was so nice to meet you. I'm sorry. I get so chatty too. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I wish we had more time because I feel like I cut you and badge off too much. Oh, no. We'll talk forever. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's we, too much. See, we like, always make up for it when we go down there. Yeah. It's we, true. When we go He's down there, we make up for it. Like, it's, it, it's just... That's just the way it is. Like, yeah, the cell service like, is not that great. So it was kind of funny. It's it was great. kind of funny because you went into Schooly Palooza not last year, the year before, and mm -hmm. Aubrey showed up. It's just like the heavens opened up and the sun's coming out, and there's Aubrey across the way from us. It's like life can't get any better, right? Ah, uh, you know, shucks, thanks, badge. How are the rest of us supposed to live up to that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys do. I'm just wow. saying that. <laughs> you guys live up to it. That's very sweet and encouraging. But she's just a sweetheart. Well. She's my little daughter. I just you know, <laughs> I got to see her. I got to see her. And I know. Well, I'd like, like to come up It's kind of sad, you know. It's, it, it's kind of sad because, like, it doesn't matter what she does. She can't do anything wrong, right? Just like Paula. She can't do anything wrong. So, what? Oh, no. Aubrey did this. I don't think so. Well, Paula did this. Oh, I don't think so. Neither of us do anything wrong, Badge. Just start with, exactly. really. Honestly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, thanks, Badge. That's very kind of you. Paula, it was so nice meeting you, too. I'm excited oh. when we all can link up. If you end up in Costa Rica, let me know. Or if you have any, like, um, I, I did go to these things called Salty Soul. Uh, they're like retreats. And so okay. if you wanted to ever meet up with, like, another group of girls or things like that, they have so many cool programs where you can go and you can learn to surf or you can learn to dive. You can do whatever thing that you are scared of because, for me, it was surfing. So it just pushes you out of your comfort zone and you're with a group of people. So it's it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I look forward to getting to know you better. Badge, thank you so much for setting this up. Truly. I want to thank everybody uh, in the chat for being here. I want to thank the super chats as well, you guys. That really means a lot to me. We are going to raid Van Life of Gina now. So if you guys want to click on the blue tab, the link at the top of the chat, or one of the ones that my moderators are dropping, that will take you directly to Van Life Gina. With Gina, let her know that Van Vita Travel sent you. And I will see you guys on Saturday night. Hopefully my cell service is going to work. I'm going to be out at the <laughs> lake in a heat wave. So... It's gonna be fun. Lots of fun. Much love, everyone. Thanks. Just wait, just wait a little bit.